Angela Wolf, and we're back to talk about working with another fabric, creating your own fabric. This time, free motion embroidery on cotton. Cotton is such a great fabric. And look at this skirt. This is a very simple skirt. It's actually a cotton sateen, which gives it a little better hand, has a little bit of stretch, and it's a, it's a nice body. I don't have to line it or anything like that. And what is on this is free motion embroidery. All I did was I took my chalk. Here's another skirt, same exact skirt, the front and the back. Now when I did this one, the whole skirt was sewn together. I have not sewn the side seams just so you can see better, but if you're worried, then go ahead and just keep your skirt sew just the front and do this. Then if you screw up, you just have to cut another front. So on that skirt, I'm doing it the opposite side now. All I did was kind of give myself some lines to follow. Kind of just a grid. Now, you could draw in your design if you want. This is basically using thread to paint your fabric. It's really fun. And talk about making your own fabric and making it unique. This is a great way. So you need just a regular hoop. And they come in a multitude of sizes. I'm just going to use this one for here. This is just tear away. And look at the inside of the skirt. I teared everything away. I still can tear away some more, but I just wanted you to see how, see how easy this comes off. Now they also have water soluble, which is very easy, but this skirt I don't want to wash. I want to dry clean it, simply because I want to keep the nice hand of it. So take this, move the back out of the way. Now you could embellish fabric from scratch and then cut out your design or add it right to a garment. You could even add it to a garment that you've had for a long time. We call that restyling or upcycling. What a great way to give it a new look. So I'm keeping the fabric really tight and putting this hoop down here. Make sure everything's very tight. There aren't any wrinkles. Just kind of pull it, double check the back. That looks great. And tighten this screw because you don't want that to open up. So this is our embroidered area. Now when I'm embroidering on this machine, I need to pretty much stay within this area. Okay, so I might have to re-hoop to make that entire design. So let's go to the machine, but before I do that, there's many different kinds of threads you can use. Cotton is one of the best. You can use embroidery thread, but I didn't use that because see the shine? I didn't want that shine. I wanted something that looked almost exactly like this fabric, so I just used all-purpose thread. Use whatever you have. Let's go to the machine, and I'll show you how easy this is to do. So attach a free motion embroidery foot. This has a little spring on it and lift it up as high as you can get it and just slide your, here you go, hoop right in there. Whoops, make sure my needle's all the way up. There we go, just in there just like that. And set it to a very narrow stitch, 2.0 is fine. Put your needle back down. One thing I do like to do is to pull my bobbin thread to the right side. And you do that by putting the needle down and pulling up and you'll see, I using white thread here. And then just figure out a spot to start. I'm gonna start right where, you can see where that bobbin thread came up, that's where I'm gonna start. Put the needle down and just start stitching. Back and forth. I'm gonna pause just for a minute. See that? Cut these threads off. See what that does? This is just what I call fabric painting. And just come up with your own design. Back and forth. I'm not going real fast. You can go in straight lines. The more you go back and forth over one line, the better. Notice how my hands are just simply pushing this back and forth like this. You can go any angle and fill it in. So this is really fun. Going. Now on that skirt, I used three different colors. I went around once and did one color and then filled it in with the gray and then finished it off with the same color of the skirt to make it look like it was part of the fabric. There's nothing special about this. 
That's it, so I'm gonna finish this skirt. See how easy this is? Have fun, make your own stitches, practice, and don't be su such a perfectionist that you can't do it, so have fun.